Isaiah chapter 23. The burden of Tyre. Now Tyre <clears throat> is an interesting city that's no more. Tyre began as a sea coast along the Mediterranean Ocean, Mediterranean Sea, and it was conquered by Babylon. And they moved off to the sea coast onto an island, and Tyre became an island. And Alexander the Great used the old city of Tyre and built the causeway <coughs> to the island. <coughs> Excuse me, and conquered the island. And now what is left there is just rocks. And fishermen come along and they spread their nets on those rocks. I don't know if they know it or not, but that's what the Bible said would happen. The burden of Tyre. And we've been looking at the burden. How? Not good news. <clears throat> How ye ships of Tarshish, Spain. I believe it was Jonah wanted to take a ship to go to Tarshish, as far as the other direction that God called him. For his land, for his laid waste, tire, so that there is no house destroyed, no entering in. The roads have been from the land of Chittim. Is real revealed to them. Be still, the inhabitants of of the isle. That's what Tyre became. It became an island. Though who the merchants of Zidon that pass over the sea, Mediterranean Sea, have replenished. Uh, it's a major. It's a major seaport. Then it became a major island that served as a shipping port. For all the nations in the area, it became vital importance in revenue. And by great waters, the Sea of Sior, <coughs> excuse me, the harvest, the game, fish of the rivers, everything grown by the rivers. In Egypt, the harvest of the, of the river Nile is not only the fish, but the papyrus. Is her revenue, money, marketing. She is a mart. That's the only time that word shows up in the Bible, of nations. So why do you go to the, sh the, sh the shopper's mart? Why do you go to a mini mart? What is a mart? It's a little place of business, according to the Bible. And I guarantee probably modern Bibles is messed with. Be thou ashamed, O Zidon, for the sea has spoken. Even the strength of the sea saying, imagine the sea speaking, I travail not, that labor pains, nor bring forth children, Neither do I nourish young men, nor bring up virgins. <laughs> there goes evolution. They say evolution, life comes from the sea. The Bible says, no, I didn't bring up nobody. There's no human life in me. The only life that came out of the seas was the fish and maybe looks like birds in Genesis 1. Not man. As at the report concerning Egypt, We've already read with Egypt. So shall they be sorely pained at the report of Tyre. Now, not Tyre, but the nations to hear that their merchandise city. I mean, what would it be to Americans if you got up in the morning and turned the radio on or, or was listening to the radio, or picked up a newspaper or something, and you would find out all of Walmart stores have closed or are going to close within a week. They're going out of business. Man, that would cause a ruckus. Where are we going to go shopping? We drove, drove today by our mall and there was a sign that says Macy's going out of business. Now, for me, that don't mean nothing. I, I never shopped at Macy's. But there are some customers that are going to drive up. Okay, let's go to Macy's and they're going to see this. Oh, man, what are we going to do? 
I mean, Macy, that's the only place I buy my shirt or buy my jacket or any other Macy product. And that's what's happening now. <clears throat> Tired, man. We got, that's where we get whatever it is. Pass ye over Tarshish. Again, that's Spain. How ye inhabitants of the isle. Again, that's, <clears throat> that's uh, Tyre. Forgive me, allergies. Is this your joyous city? It was. Whose antiquity is ancient days. Tyre has been around for a while. Her own feet shall carry afar off to sojourn. There's going to be people who are from Tyre. who are going to escape Babylon, escape Alexander the Great, or who were away while that city was being conquered. And they're going to establish something somewhere else. But the city of Tyre will be destroyed. Who has taken this council against Tyre? The crowning city. A royal city. Whose merchants are princes. Dealt with governments. Whose traffickers are honorable of the earth. And we'll see this in Revelation 17. It wasn't just a you know a little side convenience store shopping tire. You know, you think about these little tiny stores only a few people go to. Oh, this was a, a, a merchandise of everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who has taken this council against Tyre, the crowning city? whose merchants are princes, whose traffickers are the honor of the earth. The Lord of hosts has purposed it. Oh, now you're in trouble. Don't say, well, you know, we're going to come out great. We're going to do well. Not if the Lord says, no, you're not. To stain the pride of all glory. Oh, that's one of, there you go. What's the problem with Tyre? Pride. What was the problem with uh, Babylon? Pride. What's going to, what is the problem with America? Pride. What's the problem with the church? Oh, we're great. We're rich. We have no need. Of pride. <coughs> and to bring into contempt all the honorable of the earth. That's going to be tribulation. Pass through thy land as a river, O daughter of Tarshish. There is no more strength. He stretched out his hand over the sea. He shook the kingdoms, plural. The Lord has given the commandment against the merchant city, Tyre, and destroyed the strongholds thereof. I mean, Babylon came in and destroyed it. And then Alexander the Great finished it off. And he said, God said, Thou shalt no more rejoice, and it's not a city no more. O thou oppressed virgin, daughter of Zidon, arise, pass over Chittim, there also shalt thou have no rest. Behold the land of the Chaldeans, this people was not, till the Assyrian found it for them, that dwell in the wilderness. I mean, here's a place, it was nowhere, nothing, until Assyria came. There are places in America that was not, anything with the Native Americans. And now a lot of these major cities and, 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 and minor cities that we have, there's something where there could have been nothing. I mean, where I am right now in Daytona Beach, Florida, where you are, wherever you live, way back when, before the Europeans came, it might have been nothing. It may have been a place not even touched by human feet. The place where you're living. The city that you are in may have never been a city, a town, or, or a village or anything. That set up the towers thereof, <clears throat> that raised up the palaces thereof, and he brought it to ruin. Genesis 10.10. 10. Pile ye ships of Tarshish, for your strength is laid waste. 
And it shall come to pass in that day, uh-oh, that Tyre shall be forgotten 70 years. According to the day of, of one king. <clears throat> one king. After the end of 70 years, Tyre shall sing as a harlot. Merchandise, selling. Take a heart. Go about the city. Thou harlot. God is plain, simple speaking. He sells herself. Come and buy my merchandise. You got money? Thou has been forgotten. Make sweet melody. Sing many songs. That's America with a radio. CD. Little electronic gas gadget, gadgets. That thou may be remembered. It shall come to pass after the end of 70 years. That the Lord will visit Tyre. And she shall turn to her hire. And shall commit fornications with the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. That's not good. That's what Babylon, Mystery Babylon. That's what Jezebel written in the churches. Adultery, fornication. And her merchandise and her hire shall be holiness to the Lord. It shall not be treasured, no, treasured nor laid up. For her merchandise shall be for them that dwell before the Lord. To eat sufficiently. And for her the, the durable clothing. So Tyre got prideful. Tyler turned to a, a, a whore. Tyre became a great merchandise of all the world, and Tyre had nothing to do with God. And God had nothing to do with Tyre. 